M. Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. Our guest today, all the way from Lake Havasu, Arizona. Lake Havasu City, Arizona, excuse me, uh, by way of Nashville. Please welcome Matt Ferris to Kicks Country. How are you, Matt? Good, good. How's it going? Good. So, um, yeah, you started out, you grew up in uh, out, the, out west, out there in, uh, in the Arizona, Lake Havasu. Oh, in the heat. Yeah. In the, yeah, we talked a little bit about the heat, you know. Um, you, you say that you started singing probably around the age of five or so. Your, your, your folks were kind enough to yeah. get your guitar, and you, you immediately took to country music. Yeah, Johnny Cash. My mom sang that to me a little, so I strung the E and A chord because it's the easiest chords. Mm -hmm. <laughs> started singing Johnny Cash, Folsom Prism, and Get Rhythm. And then next came Sweet Home Alabama, and I turned it into Sweet Home Arizona when I was there. But ended up being all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, flash forward, it was like you kept playing, but you didn't originally start out uh, to become a musician. So, I mean, you, you're an EMT and a firefighter, is that yeah, right? Yeah, still certified EMT. So if I have a heart attack right here, right now, you could save my life. We will catch this. Really? Live, right now. We would. I mean, if I were to have, or if the building were to burst into flames, you would be the, you would be the go-to oh, guy. You'll see me. I'll turn into firefighter, Matt. Really? So, okay, well, let me ask you a question then. You started down that road. Um, what was it that pulled you back to music? Uh, oh, May 1st of 2008. I was actually coming home. I judged a talent show that night. Coming home from that night, it was the year I was on Nashville Star. Came home, 1.30 in the morning. May 1st, we walk outside to people trying to steal my dad's truck, and all we said is stop, and the bullet came out of the car of the person that was trying to steal the other car, shot through my dad's right abdomen into my chest. So while I was recovering, I was like, I gotta, I gotta play music, it's the only thing that keeps me sane right now. So I really got really focused on it, started writing, and then I wanted to play and do stuff with a full band. I didn't have a band, so I started putting people together. And I got my dad to sing, play bass, and I got my grandpa who played drums 30, 40 years ago. I was like, can you still play drums? <laughs> but he's still rocking the drums sometimes, so now they just sing with me. But that was a really good way of having my family close to me while I was trying to recover, while my dad was recovering, and while we're going through that together as a family, so it was pretty cool. All right, so now you said that that was the same year that you were on Nashville Star, 2008. Yeah. Um, so that was the year that you made the decision. Uh, it's like, I can be an EMT, I can be a firefighter, I can do all these things, but music is, that's my heart, my soul, that's yeah. where my want, my desire is. So you have now three, at this point, three generations of, of music lovers uh, playing the band, Kinfolk, as I'm thinking yeah. of the band, as you call yourself. Um, but at some point, you made the decision to move from Phoenix, because you had moved to Phoenix, you moved Phoenix all the way to Nashville. Now, did your, grand, your dad and your grandfather, did they come with you, or are they still in Arizona? Uh, they're out in Arizona. It, I did the... Colgate Country Showdown. Mm -hmm. Now it's called the Texaco Country Showdown. That was October 2nd of 2010. And some people were there. Rocky Lynn, mm -hmm. he was there. An artist was there. And his manager was there. And he said, have you ever thought about moving to Nashville? Maybe we could talk when you get to Nashville. And I said, yeah, I would move. I'd move anytime. He's like, well, you let me know when you move. Five days after that, I packed up my truck. Me, my brother, and my grandma drove to Nashville moved to Nashville. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, now you also do a lot of work, um, charity work. I mean, you you will play yeah. for a good cause, and one of those causes, American Cancer Society, uh, is specific, specifically breast cancer. You have a, an annual, well, like a four years now event yeah, called Denise, is Denise's year, Day. Yeah. yeah, Denise's Day. And now tell us about Denise and how all that happened. Ugh. It's still tough to talk about sometimes, but um, Denise was that mom, other mom, uh -huh. like my best friend growing up with him. He was... I'd go over to their house and be like, hey, mom. That was my other mom, my adoptive mother. But he called me when I was in Nashville and said, mom is sick. I was like, well, what's going on? Mom has cancer. I'm like, oh, gosh, what do you want to do? He's like, let's throw a party. Let's just keep her spirits up. I said, all right, we'll throw her a party and call it Denise's Day. And I figured maybe we'll invite 50 people. 50 people will show up. We'll have a good time. The community came together. 300 people showed up the first year. I was like, Lake Havasu is not a big place. Let's just keep this going and throw a party for mom, help with medical bills, help with just keeping her spirits up. Yeah. And she passed away before the second one. I had Adam Gregory come out. He's a Canadian country music artist. He's awesome. Trent Tomlinson came out. Oh, yeah, we know Trent. That's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. But we have different artists coming out, and they, they didn't get to meet her. Adam did get to talk to her on the phone a little bit, but just knowing that she was happy about what we were doing, I know she wouldn't want me to stop. Absolutely. So I got involved with Make-A-Wish Foundation, got 
the childhood cancer awareness stuff. I go to Vanderbilt. I go St. Jude stuff. And just anything I can do musically to help kids smile, help adults smile, just that's what this is all about for me. Okay. Well, now you're in Nashville. You're on Sky Tone Records with Frank, yep. uh, who will be joining us in a minute so we, you can help play the, the single. Um, now, the single, tell us about it. Did you write the single, or is this one that a Nashville songwriter, like said here, trying to Actually, given to me from Frank, and the story ended up being really cool. I've done all this cancer stuff and cancer benefits, and Tony, I'm going to butcher his last name, Lopeshinsky, he actually passed away from cancer. Mm-hmm. So now... I was like, I'm going to do this song no matter what. But Redneck Radio, I was like, it's a perfect title. Because growing up in Lake Havasu, everyone drove fancy cars to school. They drove their parents' cars to school. <laughs> and I drove a 1986 beat-up Suburban with two 15-inch subwoofers in the back and blaring country music. Everyone's like, oh gosh, country boy. I was like, I love country music. Oh, here comes that, that Ferris boy. Oh, yeah. My teachers knew when I was coming to school late. But I'd pull in, cranking up on a 1986 Suburban, and then I had a 1982 Blazer lifted and grew up in Donkey Acres. I got family that lives on Horny Head Creek Road. I'm like, <laughs> how much more redneck can you get than that? <laughs> let's, do, let's do this song. No matter what it's about, let's do it. Redneck and radio, it's all about it. So it ended up being a perfect song. Oh, oh, really rock and roll all together. Absolutely. I want to get out of the way. I'm going to let Frank sit down. And Matt Ferris is going to sing for you his single, Redneck Radio, right here in this artist video blog at kicks96country.com. Serious okay. face, go. <laughs> okay. I'm Matt Ferris. This is my new single, Redneck Radio. And uh, his debut single, uh, Redneck Radio, from the forthcoming al album on Sky Tone Records, Nashville. Now, um, is the album completed yet, or just the single available? <sighs> Single's available now. We got five songs that we're done with. We're working on more now. So, been hitting the studio, picking out songs. He's been sending me songs. Listening like crazy, so we'll have it out soon. So, are you doing any songwriting at all for, on, the, on this album? I've been doing more writing now. Me and Frank are getting together. So, we definitely like to get two or three of our own stuff on there 
but definitely in the works. So. Okay, so uh, well, we can expect the album pretty soon. But if they want, they can get Redneck Radio now. Uh, where's it available? Yeah. iTunes or CD Baby? Yeah, it's uh, everywhere now. Mm-hmm. MattFerrisCountry.com. It has the Amazon, the iTunes, CD Baby. It's on all those. Okay, so MattFerrisCountry.com. You on Facebook? Yep, it's just Facebook.com and Matt Ferris Music. It's right mm-hmm. on my website too. And so. do you tweet? Oh yeah, I tweeted coming in the front door. All oh, right on. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna have to go look for that and then uh, follow Matt. So you make sure that you find him on Twitter, follow him, like him. Matt, thanks, hey! for, thanks so much for coming down here and visiting us in Kicks Country if you want to hear the single. Uh, Redneck Radio, make sure you call us at Kicks 96. We're happy to play it for you. Find Matt online at mattferriscountry.com, Facebook, and follow him on Twitter. We're going to. And we'll see you again next time. Another artist video blog right here on kicks96country.com.